Hello everyone, it's Valerie from Stampin' with Valerie and I wanted to do my Update Tuesday video. I'm, gonna, I'm working on doing this every week. So far so good, three weeks in a row. Um, today is a project and a card. Um, today there was a card made with the Dino Roar Bundle which consists of the Dino Days um, stamp set, the Dino Dies, you have paper, um, ribbon and I'm thinking that's all that's in the bundle but anyway so we're gonna start I'm gonna pull my video up here in a second but we're gonna start with this cute card isn't this adorable I haven't even put my piece of whisper white on the inside yet I just finished this I just think it's cute and I use the dino dies to cut out these um, dinosaur images from the dino roar designer series paper it is so much fun. That paper is gorgeous. I've shown it to you before and I'll have a link um, on my blog that'll take you to it so you can look at it if you want to. Um, but four of the dies that are in the um, dino dies fit the dinosaurs. So it fits the T-Rex, the little Stegosaurus, the Brontosaurus, and the Pteranodon or Pterodactyl. I'm not sure what they're called these days because I know names have changed, but it fits those four. And so you can cut them out and use them on your projects. Obviously you can also stamp them because you have the stamps here and then I'll cut those out because they're the exact same size. So you have options. So you don't have to go with the same thing. So I'm gonna set this stamp set aside and we will get started on this card. The two inks that we're gonna use on the card are gonna be Lovely Lipstick and Pretty Peacock. I'm actually just gonna swap sides with this, put my card over here. We'll start with our piece of Whisper White cardstock and we're gonna stamp our sentiment, the one that says, thanks for being a friend to Saurus. I think that one is so cute. Just in the upper left corner of our piece of Whisper White cardstock. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be right at the top, right, you know, down in the middle or anything like that, just wherever you want it. And then because I wanna follow um, in the photo and I didn't print the photo, I should have printed the photo to show you. They had actually, I believe they stamped their dinosaurs, but like I said, I cut mine out so it can be done either way. But theirs had little um, lovely lipstick spots on the back of it. They used the little spot stamp. So I wanted to do that on the back of this one that I cut out to show you that you can add even to these ones that are already pre-printed and make them a little bit different if you want to. But that's pretty much the pretty close to the dinosaur that they had on their card. So that's it. That is all the stamping we're gonna do today. No more. And I used some of the mini striped ribbon, and this is in Bermuda Bay for their card. And on my blog, it'll um, talk about the denim ribbon, and that's part of this. Um, sweet but I didn't have any of it right now I ran out so I'm like well what kind of matches so I thought this ribbon would be really cute I need to turn my watch off here so y'all don't have to listen and look at my updates and everything <laughs> sorry it's gonna drive me crazy until I do there we go now it won't be clicking on and showing you how many calories I burned today I'm sure that's nothing you care to know anyway <laughs> My hand, no big deal. My wrist has been bothering me for about three days and this morning I woke up and it was kind of swollen. So I'm like, eh, I'll just wrap it, see what happens. Hopefully it's nothing major. I just, it's just sore. I don't know if I bumped it or what I did to it, but so no worries about that. And for some reason my, there we go. Now my page is pulling up. Let's see if my video is gonna pull up. There it is. Now I can see if anyone's on with me. If you are, and I didn't say hello, hello to you now. Um, just after you get your ribbon tied, just kind of straighten it out a little bit. And then go ahead and use some snail adhesive on the back of it. Because you're gonna, we're gonna adhere it down to a piece of lovely lipstick cardstock, which I already have pre-cut, so we're ready. Get your piece of lovely lipstick on there. And obviously, you could do these in any color cardstock that you wanted. If you were doing this more for a boy, then maybe you'd use something different. But this is um, what their card was made with. I got a little bit of adhesive there. I need to get off because I keep sticking to it. And then I have a piece of flamingo cardstock cut for my card base. Go ahead and use your bone folder on that to get that folded. 
and then just a piece of the Diner Roar, and you could use either side. I mean, you could use this side. I think I actually will just to make this one a little bit different, and then that will go on the front like that. We'll do it just a little bit different than the first card. But this card is super simple, doesn't take a lot of time, but you could use it, I think, if you did a different sentiment. Let me see what the other sentiments are that are in here. You've got your roar some. I love you this much, it's more than it looks. That would be cute to use with your Tyrannosaurus Rex if you want, or look who's hatched. You could have the little dinosaur coming out of, there's an egg die, which is really cute. Or if you wanted birthday, you could just put a birthday sentiment on there from another stamp set and make a cute birthday card for someone. So we're just gonna dimensional this up onto the card. And you know me, I like my dimensional, so we're gonna actually dimensional our dinosaur as well. Might as well get those on there while we're doing this. We'll need at least one or two of the mini dimensionals just because the neck is so long. You want to make sure you've got one at the neck and then one on the head as well. Oh, shoot. I peeled those off and now look, I stuck this right to the back of those. <laughs> this is how live works. You get to see all my mistakes. No big deal. It was just two dimensionals. We can afford those today anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and adhere this on and then we'll add our dinosaur to the front. We'll get these peeled off and then we will get started on the second small project. The second project is really adorable. It is just a little mini banner and they used um, three by four pieces. Isn't that cute? There's our card. They used three by four pieces of the Dino Roar paper and then they have it cut at the bottom in the little um, banner. And I wanna show you on a piece of Whisper White cardstock how to do that without having to have a punch. Um, because these little, I've already got mine cut and ready to go. But as you can see, they've got that little banner tail on them. And we don't have a punch that's big enough for this and there's not a die for that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first you're gonna, obviously you know you're three inches wide. You're gonna take and measure up one side of the long area and I did three quarters of an inch and you're just gonna put a mark right at the very edge of your piece of whisper white now this is what I'm gonna use as my um, template and I'll just save this and use it over and over we're gonna do the same on this side we're gonna measure up three quarters of an inch we're gonna just make a mark at the side I don't know if you can see my mark I'll make them a little bit darker so maybe you can see them better and then I just hold my ruler. I go from one side to the other to make that straight line. I make sure my ruler at the, hits a point here and hits a point there. But I wanna know that I'm in the center, so I have to start at the very first line, get to my three. And the very center is gonna be one and a half inches. So you're just gonna take and make a dot right there in the, at that one and a half. From that dot, just draw a line to your bottom corner. And then you're gonna do the exact same for the other side. Then you know when you're cutting, you're at your very center. So all you have to do is cut along those lines. Now you have your template, right? Perfect. Now for the top, because you wanna make sure your holes are even. I don't know if you can see the holes in these because that's, let me get a solid piece. You can see the holes in those. You want to make sure they're even. So I just hold the ruler across. I didn't actually measure as far as how far down I went, but I just went in a quarter of an inch, made a dot, went in a quarter of an inch, made a dot, and then I used my hole punch, which I have a crocodile, so whatever kind of hole punch you use, just make a dot, make your hole there, and then you have your template. You're just going to take that template Oh my goodness, I don't have a piece of other three by four paper sitting here. So for example, let's say this is not cut. We're gonna put it this way. So it looks like it's not cut. I just hold it on there. Now you can draw, you can trace it if you want to. I just hold it and I just snip it both sides. 
and then you have your banner. And then you just keep this. I'm gonna write on this three by four so I know what size it is. Banner template. And then I can always reuse it again. I'll just keep it in a little folder with some other templates that I have. And then I have it, it's done. And I don't have to make it if I wanna make another one of these cute little banners. So for their banner, they started out, I'm gonna open up the photo just to make sure I have my banners in the right order that they had. There we go, yep. So they started with this pattern, then they have this, this, and this. And now you can make this, I'm probably gonna, when I may actually make it, I'll make it longer than this, but I'm not gonna do that right now. You're going to just thread all of your banners. And I just like to go through the front and then back out the front. And I'm just using Whisper White. And you're gonna do that for all your banners so you have them all together. And just do them all the way across. I'm not gonna do them all right now because you get the idea. And you can do them the other way if you want the white coming across the front, just cut, start at the back and then work your way across. But all they did was they had some cute little dinosaurs and they added some little some of the little spikes to the back of this T-Rex. And I got a little bit too much glue on that. I can feel it squishing out. It's going to squish out anyway. I can tell it's going to squish out a little bit. So I'm just gonna set that little T-Rex there to dry. And then we're gonna take this little Stegosaurus and I've got some spikes for the back of him or her, whichever you wanna call. And they didn't put any words, they didn't stamp anything. They just used these little dinosaurs and you can, like I said, cut them out from the diner, designer series paper. You can stamp them, whichever you wanna do. Flip them over, they're not quite dry, that's why I use my other tool there just so I didn't get glue on my fingers. But I'm gonna actually stick these dimensionals, some of them anyway, at least that one on the T-Rex just to hold those in place since we're getting ready to stick these down. We'll get those backings off. And then they just stuck their little dinos right on that little banner. Isn't that cute? I think you could use this for a birthday party. This little tail on this one needs to be trimmed where that's poking out a little bit. You could use it for a birthday party. You could use it for anything. And like I said, you can make it as long or as short as you want. I think it would be cute made to go in a little boy or a little girl's bedroom. I mean, you could do it either way. You could use any side of the paper that you wanted to use. I mean, so however you want to make it, however long you want to make it. But that was today's um, Update Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. For all the measurements, you can go to my blog, which is stampinwithvalerie.com. Um, once I upload this video, um, I will make sure I get that, get it uploaded to my blog so you can go to my blog and get all the measurements. Have a great day. Bye.